people often enact dress codes in order to, yeah, reduce problems and having to tell kid, students to pull up their pants, as you say. The dress code was implemented in the 2012-2013 school year. The dress code is khakis, blue or black pants. Students may wear any solid plaid or striped shirt with a collar. When we first implemented the dress code, we had to make sure, it took us a while to get everybody on the same page. There were a committee of teachers and parents and community members and school board members, principals represented on elementary, intermediate, middle, and high school level that sat and talked several times to come up with how this whole dress code was going to look. I believe the dress code was enforced because teachers were tired of seeing underwear and cleavage. A lot of distractions with students' style of dress. I mean, like boys always having some pull their pants up, young ladies were kind of dressing and revealing, which could be a distraction. Before it looked as if some people were just getting out of bed and just coming to school just to do something. Mr. Holtzman felt that if you dress better, you act better. Because if a kid comes in and they're upset about the dress code, or, well, I gotta dress this way, or this don't make sense, this is dumb, what's wrong with this? And you just keep seeing the same repeat offenders, they seem to get upset and give an attitude. I heard students say that they like not having to think so much about what they're wearing every day. It provides a, a, a smaller variety of outfits to wear in the morning, so it's less hassle. Clothes. They want to make the dress code so everybody looks like they're coming to get work done. I mean, it looks professional. It looks like everybody's doing something that's not appropriate term, but businessy in a way. McKee Swartz dress code has been effective in reducing discipline issues in the high school. We feel that the dress code is positive, but would like more dress down days. On those days, there is a difference in the atmosphere of the school. They're a little more relaxed and a little more talkative during those dress down days, I have noticed. I think any rule um, needs to be understood. I don't believe it's really changed the perception. Unfortunately, there are students who do not follow the dress code and must conform to the rules. There are so many infractions which cause teachers and administrators to focus more who is not doing what they're supposed to. Well, of course I have to get up earlier now and make sure everything's ironed, everything's pressed, and I have to actually get ready for school. But it makes me feel more complete, I guess, when I come to school and I know that I have a task at hand and know that I have something to get done. Giving little choices probably doesn't matter that much. Giving bigger choices or giving students opportunities to make real decisions about their education, that, that seems to have some real benefit. We have kids that they can't afford, they don't have nice clothing. So then they come in looking not as nice as the other students, they get made fun of, it turns into bullying. It can become a complex issue, the whole dress code. If you have a dress code, then you have to enforce it, and there's probably lots of punishment, like students getting sent home, and then they don't get to go to school that day. There's a lot of problems if it's some teachers enforce it, and other teachers do not. Those inconsistencies make it really hard. However, there are many students who do follow the rules daily. Would it be more fair to reward students who are exemplary members of the student body for their effort? Students say it would be nice to have a dress down day every other Friday or at least once a month. For the most part, I, the, the kids are very good about embracing the dress code. In the morning, out of 1,300 kids that walk through the front door, I maybe see six that have a violation and need dress. I think in general people should be um, recognized for, for doing the right thing.